there was a young man. He was lived in Iraq. He was very famous for his piety. Because of his incredibly strong relationship with Allah, like if the call to prayer was heard, he always went to the mosque on time and never missed the first sof. From his clothes and his appearance, he was very close to Allah. From his tongue, he was always say about the Quran and hadith of Prophet Muhammad SAW. When he worked, he was looking for halal income. His whole life was dedicated in the way of Allah to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This young man has a physical advantage. He was very handsome. He was extremely famous as the most handsome person in Baghdad at that time. Also, he was only about 19 years old when this story happened. He became a hot topic among the women all over Baghdad. And they hope they can just talk with him because of his extremely handsome face and his politeness. Even, they pursued him around. And there was one rich woman, an official's wife, famous for her beauty and her wealth. All men also pursued her because of her beauty and her physical appearance. One time, she said to the people, I will conquer this man, and surely he will do zina with me. And so the shaitan deception was made. It was coincidence that her husband went out of the city for his duty, and was taking for many months, and Allahu alam, if they may return or not. Because in those days, there were no communication and no transportations like we're living now. So then she was back to her house. She doled up as much as she could with her beauty and her fragrance. And then she told her maids, If the young man passes in front of the house, say that in the house there's a person who is sick and no man can help. So please take it to the tabib. And this young man was trapped. As he walking in front of the house, suddenly the maids were shouting to him, Please help! Our master is sick! There is no man to help, so please help us! Then finally, the man was inside the house. When he entered the house, my brothers and sisters in faith, what happened was, they closed the door, and the cunning woman said, If you don't do zina with me, I will scream that you purposely come to disturbing me at my house. He was tricked. Back then, the houses were all close together. A little screaming can be heard all over the neighborhood. He thought, what should I do? He was alone in a room with a perfect woman. In front of his eyes was the woman with perfection. Beautiful, rich, and has a position. Just ask him to do zina. And that's it. He can enjoy with her. He can get the wealth and so on and so forth. But, my brothers and sisters, the one who knows his Lord Allah is different. He already knows who he is. He already knows who he will face. He already knows the law of Allah. He already knows the promise of Allah if he leaves haram things, and the reward of leaving it later in the heaven. He has learned it all. Then, he prayed to Allah, saying, O oh Allah, you know, how I keep my relationship well with you, and I've always seduced to do zina, but I've always hold it back. Now, why am I suddenly entering into a shaitan trap like this? Please save me, O oh Allah. Suddenly, he felt pain from his stomach. His stomach hurt. Then he said, My stomach hurt. I need to go to the restroom. The woman said, The restroom is over there. Open it, and please go in. But still, after you finish, you have to do zina with me. If you don't, I will scream. So he went in, then he was defecating. We beg your pardon, that was the story. He was defecating. After he used the restroom, he suddenly came with an idea. Allah gave him an inspiration. He took his own stool and then passed it on his shirt. As he came out of the room, this rich woman who was famous for her cleanliness, beauty and everything was shocked. A while ago, he was clean and tidy, but now he was covered by stool. Then she said, why are you like this? He said, you see, this is who I am. I am like this. If you really want to do zina, here I am with my own stool in my body. Finally, the woman said, Get this man out. This guy is so filthy. So he was kicked out from the house. And as soon as he was out in front of the woman's house, he prostrated to thank Allah for save him from zina. Someone who knows and recognizes God, he will save him from the sin, not just let it be. In this story, he already trapped but still managed to escape. How weak many people are among us, not just tricked, 
but they deliberately plunged themselves to commit a sin. Even though the Prophet ﷺ told us very clear in the hadith of Bukhari, when the servant commits a sin, a small sin, a black spot will appear upon his heart. What does the black spot mean? It means that in the next few days, he will feel his life becomes dark, his life becomes difficult because of just one small sin. Many of the doors of the risk are covered until the black spot is cleaned. And what does Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu say? I know the severity of the small sin I've committed. Probably for us, it's just a common thing. Or probably, we just hear something unintentionally. He said, I know Allah forbids me to pray in congregation at mosque in a month. He realized that he was forbidden from worshipping Allah because of the smallest sin.